If you haven't been following along, I'm upgrading the rear end on my BMW E36 Turbo LS swap to the 210 millimeter diff with upgraded axles and everything else to make sure that this thing's gonna be able to launch. I got a rally road differential brace to go on the back of it, and I also welded up some supports to make sure that everything stays good as I launch it. Threw some paint on there, and now we're ready to go. Now we just gotta put everything back together and get this back in the car. All right, so next I have to weld the reinforcement brackets on this. Now, if you have an E36 M3, they already came with these brackets, but this goes right on here, and that will reinforce the subframe uh, on that side. And then we also have to do the same uh, here. Actually, this goes on this side, I think. Like that, but welded to it. Um, so we'll have to get rid of some of the sound deadening and flap disc it and get some bare metal, then we can weld to it. Now, if you have, like I said, if you have an E36 M3, it already came with these reinforcements. So I don't have any 36 M3, so I got them. I got these from New Age Hot Rods out in Utica, uh, New York. My entire swap kit, drive shaft, uh, transmission mount, engine mount, radiator. Um, the, the whole, they, they sell a whole bunch of E36 LS swap stuff and they sell these brackets for reinforcement as well. So check them out. I've flat disked everything down where it's gotta go. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bolt the subframe up bolt it in so it's lined up, and then I'm gonna tack weld those brackets where they gotta be, and then drop the subframe and then finish welding. The primer that you see me applying here is special weld through primer that will still allow you to put some weld down on it, but I wanted to make sure I painted it to prevent it from rusting. But I gotta tell you, I did not get as good of a connection as I thought I would with this paint, but I just didn't want it to rust. With everything dried, I put the subframe back up on the car without the differential in it because it's a lot lighter that way, just to match up everything so it lines up perfectly and then I'm gonna tack it where it needs to be before I finish welding it completely. All right, so I was able to get some tack welds on, but the only way that I could do it was actually to take these vice grips and clamp just the end of it there just to get a tack on and uh, I barely, I wasn't getting a good ground at all. So, uh, that was the, probably the hardest part I've encountered with this so far was finding a ground. That's how I did it there. It was a big pain to weld it up there, but I got it all done. The paint that I'm applying now is this special like roll bar and chassis paint that I got at AutoZone. It's paint and primer all in one. It goes on really nice and thick and has a nice gloss to it. Uh, you could use it on anything, not just like what I'm doing here, but if it just, this stuff just works great. I highly recommend it. So, it's all painted, welded it up. Um, looks pretty good. No, no real big complaints. Other than the fact that this stuff, uh, the paint that I use, the galvanized stuff, re really makes it hard to weld through. Um, it was almost like it contaminated the weld and it was just really hard to get a good hold. But I had to stick to it and uh, didn't go too crazy on flapping it down. Just painted it up and we're gonna put the dip back in now. But it looks pretty good and that's gonna hold well. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly about having an LS swap BMW. Getting the transmission out is a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna actually gonna try to do the transmission first and maybe get access to the bell housing. But I got the top bolt there and a long, long extension. I also, I unbolted the subframe about a half an inch to lower it and uh, you know, loosen the motor mounts a little bit to lean it back. So let's try this out. All right, so there it is. The RST, the bane of my existence for the last summer. We gotta get it out. Uh, so as you can see, that top bell housing bolt is there. And if you look close, there's a wrench attached to it. That's a socket ratchet, a little Harbor Freight action. I can't get to it to pull it down. So I literally am taking a rope to pull it down, I'm gonna hold my finger up to it. And that's how I'm loosening that bolt right now. 
All right, so I had to lower the engine off with an engine cradle about a few more inches to get to the bell housing bolts, but now I'm taking the clutch out and you can see, oh boy, uh, there's some scoring. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that, but you know, 700 pound feet of torques, probably ain't gonna do it. All right, so there's a flywheel. I mean, this is obviously where the clutch pack goes and that's the surface there, also scored. So while I'm at it, I'm gonna replace the rear main seal because I got a little bit of an oil leak there and I think it's coming from that. So we'll do that and uh, we're gonna upgrade to the RXT. While I'm here, I wanna make sure I address everything because I don't wanna ever do this again for a long time. I do have an oil leak coming from somewhere. I thought it was the rear main seal, but that looks pretty clean. I think it's coming from the back bottom of the timing cover. And as I look closer to it, you can kind of see it. Yeah, there's the oil there dripping down. It's just coming from the timing cover. So I'm gonna replace the whole timing cover and the gasket as well as the barbell while I'm at it, while I'm here, might as well. Using a transmission jack, I was able to jack the subframe back up into the car. Uh, everything went on real straight and smooth. Oh boy, that looks nice and pretty in there. Still waiting on my axles from the drive shaft shop, but we put the rear in uh, with the rally road bracket. So just waiting for the axles and I can put everything else in. Now we're gonna get to work on the transmission, putting the new clutch in that we got, the McLeod RXT HD. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all my uploads on this car. I still got a long ways to go before I'm done with it. Make sure to hit the like button too because it helps us out with the YouTube search. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.